Hey guys, welcome back for a massive DIY yard cleanup. After over two years of our neighbor's trees being fallen through our backyard, they finally had them removed, but they left us with the biggest mess to clean up. So many sticks, branches, weeds, trees growing in our yard, and just trash that needed to be taken out of this space so that we can finally use it this summer. We're so excited to do a full backyard transformation for our kids so that they can use this space again. So we we spent all day cleaning this up and it made for the most satisfying video. After two and a half years of having our neighbor's trees fallen through our backyard and not being able to use this space, they finally had them removed, but this is the mess that they left us with to clean up. So this is what we're tackling today. I promise there's a patio slab under here. You just can't see it yet. And I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to salvage the kids' playhouse. We have taken a look at their play equipment and we do think we're gonna be able to salvage this. We just need to dig out all the sand down here, replace that and replace this awning and also give it a really good power wash. But yeah, our kids have not been able to use this part of our backyard for over two years now, so we're gonna surprise them and hopefully by the end of the day have this all cleaned up. This is a little bit overwhelming, but I feel like the only first step we can take is to start clearing out some of this brush and mess. So. I think that's what we're gonna do. For anyone who is new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Megan and I figured I should give you a little backstory about what happened here or refresh your memory for my longtime viewers because it has been such a long time since this occurred. So two and a half years ago, three summers ago, I set up this small patio for my kids. I did a complete makeover on their playhouse, set up a little seating area. It was so cute and I did share that on YouTube already. So I'll link the video if you wanna see what this space looked like for about three days. But anyway, the same week that I finished that, we went out of town. And when we came back, two of our neighbor's trees had fallen through this portion of our backyard. And then from there, the most dramatic, awful neighbor story ever occurred. But hold on, I'm going to be funny real quick. That is my husband, Derek, and I love to troll him. He doesn't always think that I'm so funny, but I think I'm hilarious. And just so you know, he didn't get anywhere near me with that branch. I really was just trolling. But anyway, when we came back into town and saw that the neighbor's trees had fallen through our yard, they fell through our yard mostly, but also through our back neighbor's fence and had caused some damage to their fence and their property. So it became like a multi-neighbor thing going on and our back neighbors wanted homeowners insurance involved because the tree neighbors were saying that it was due to a tornado and our back neighbors were saying a tornado did not come through our neighborhood and it didn't even make sense what he was saying because there was no other damage in the neighborhood. If a tornado had touched down there, it wouldn't have just knocked over two of his trees. None of us would have houses anymore. But anyway, it became this whole big thing and it coincided with the COVID shutdown. So homeowners insurance wouldn't even come out in person to assess the damage. That backed things up and our neighbor dragged it out for years until finally he had to acknowledge that it had nothing to do with whether he had a beetle infestation that was killing his trees and he actually had to have all of them removed from his entire backyard. So he's so sour about having to take responsibility for it that he had the tree trunks themselves removed, but wouldn't do anything else. No additional property damage compensation, no yard cleanup, nothing that wasn't on his own property. So either way, it's just been a whole headache. We're happy to have the trees out of our yard now. And while we weren't quite happy to be doing all of this, we're trying not to focus on the work that we had to do and focus more on how excited we are to finally be able to use this part of our yard again. I am so out of shape. My lungs feel like they're going to explode already and this is all we've done. So we have one yard waste bin full. Derek's about to, I think, jump on top of that to compact it. But you can start to see 
our patio down here underneath all this dirt. This is gonna be so satisfying to power wash. So we got that. We got most of the like big branches and um, just the really big parts that were out here. We have a pile over here if you wanna know where we've been taking them. We have this huge pile collecting here and we think that the smartest thing to do is burn it. So we're probably gonna do that tonight off camera, start a burn pit, and of course we'll call the fire department to let them know what we're doing before we start in on it and make sure that it's okay. Anyway, that's where we've been putting things. Look at Derek, you guys. <laughs> Creating more room for us. We do have two yard waste bins, but it's the beginning of the week, so once we fill the two, we're out of luck. I'm just so out of shape. This is already like, Man, this is hard work. Raking up all of this mud and debris from the patio slab, the tree in our yard, and it was just kind of caked throughout the, this entire part of our yard. This was definitely the hardest, most labor-intensive part. I felt like picking up all of the branches and twigs and things was pretty easy because they had been down for so long they were dead and didn't weigh as much as a live tree obviously would or live branches would but this was just so heavy it was mud caked in with debris from the trees and it was a lot there was a lot to rake up here but it felt so good to get it done and I was really excited as I started seeing the concrete underneath it's going to be so satisfying to power wash this which I will be doing in the next video we're going to set this all up for our kids again and since there's no more trees in the neighbor's yard we know for sure that nothing's gonna fall through it and they'll be able to actually use this space this summer and I also wanted to say that while we didn't necessarily enjoy the tasks that we were doing Derek and I really enjoyed hanging out with each other and doing this together and overall even though it was an exhausting day it was a really fun day with him I had a really good time <laughs> don't fall you think they'll take it? I wish the girls were here. I have never seen a lizard where we live before. We've only ever seen them in Florida. This is not the same kind of lizards we see in Florida, but look at this guy. Oh my goodness, he's probably so mad that we just destroyed his home, but we gotta get our backyard back, little buddy. Wow, he's so cool at me. Ooh. <laughs> he did not like that. Okay, I won't mess with you again. <laughs> Good, I'm running. Oh, he's mad. I wonder what kind of lizard it is. If you know, leave me a comment. Tell me what kind of lizard he is. Derek compacted everything in that yard waste bin, I think three or four times before it was finally overflowing and we had to go get another one. Thankfully, we do have two of them and we filled them up. Like, boy, did we fill them up. But we still had quite a bit of work to do after we had filled the second one. So we were asking around to our neighbors if we could use theirs. Our tree neighbors were not even gonna consider letting us use use their yard waste bin because that man is so sour about what happened but our neighbor across the street pulled through for us and let us use one of theirs and we were so grateful because that meant we could power through and we were able to get this entire space cleared out in the same day and not have to wait like a week in between we love our neighbors across the street they're probably our favorite neighbors they are so sweet his mother-in-law lives with them and she is just the 
the sweetest old lady ever. She's like the old grandma across the street. She loves our kids and we're thankful for that. She's always bringing them like pastries and baked goods and just, it's just the sweetest thing ever and we really appreciate that. So if you're watching this, we love you guys. Thank you so much for helping us. Derek is such a trooper clearing out all of these trees really like most of these like these things I don't know if you could even call this a weed it looks like a tree to me lots of maple tree sprouts too things like this are definitely weeds but these larger ones that he wasn't able to pull out he's gonna get a shovel and dig them out but he cleared like a massive space back here there were so many of them I hope we got some satisfying clips for you guys to see but this is pretty good I feel like most of this area here is pretty good like we won't have to touch it again until we're um, using the lawnmower but before we can do any of that we got to get all this big stuff out so I think we're going to insert a hopefully not too long montage of him digging out all of these new sprouted trees in our backyard. All of these really, really tall weeds and trees had pretty established root systems since they had been here for a couple of years, so Derek couldn't just manhandle them. He had to use a shovel to dig them out, and then I just came up behind him and cleared it away as he was doing it. That way, we could just like clear the space as we were working and not have to double back and take longer to get it done, and to be honest, doing this part was really triggering with my childhood trauma my mom used to lock me out of the house and make me do yard work for hours by myself when I was growing up and she would regularly send me out with a shovel to dig up dandelions in her backyard and it would take me so long it was so lonely and I hated doing it and I hated just the fact of being locked out of the house and not having a choice but to get it done so I was really thankful that Derek took control of the shovel he dug out the weeds and let me just clear everything away. Derek that lid's not gonna shut. <laughs> so they're not going to take it for the yard waste. Chop it in half. You're going to break your hand. <laughs> Seriously, what are you going to do? I'm going to turn it sideways it that way and fold it up. I don't believe you can do that. <laughs> That's a lot. I don't either. We'll see. <laughs> I can't believe he got it in there. You're supposed to say that's what she said. <laughs> okay, I am going to spare y'all from having to watch more of the same with all of this back here. It's just the same as what we did over there. Derek's been digging up milkweed, pulling out all of these trees that are popping up, and he's gonna continue doing that throughout our entire property line, which basically goes all the way back here and then when we're ready to do something different I'll show you but um, for now I think I'm gonna start on the girls play set and getting this kind of cleared off there's like leaves everywhere that have grown and up here I need to get this like swept off and cleared off this is just trash at this point they had a bunch of toys under here because prior to this happening they played out here all the time but those toys need to go now because they're nasty so I need to clear all that out throw it out and get this to a point where we will be able to do something with it we're hoping that we're going to be able to salvage it although looking at it up close this I don't know maybe we'll see we'll see what happens with it I'm going to keep my hopes up maybe we'll be able to power wash it and it'll be good but I need to clear all this off get all of the toys thrown out and then also I want to figure out how to get this awning off because it was clearly ripped up in all of this and hopefully we'll be able to replace it with something
It's been quite a few hours later, but we have almost everything cleared out of here now, at least all of the stuff that could break the lawnmower, right? And we picked up the kid's slide, cleared this off. I was going to take the awning off, uh, but the bolts are kind of rusted, so we'll decide later what we're gonna do with that, but right now at least we have it to a place where Derek can bring the lawnmower through so he took the swings down and just cleared out as much of this as he could and now it's just like really tall grass and you know just needs to be mowed so we're going to leave this here for now and keep it just out of the way so that he can mow this area we really just want to focus on mowing this part right here getting this just manageable so that we have a starting point to work on this and this tomorrow and setting it up for the kids i was really hoping that we could have it all done today but it's almost dinner time now and clearly that's not going to happen i'm always so ambitious i i'm so bad with time either i think it's going to take way longer than it actually does or i think it's going to take no time and four days later i'm still working on it so anyway i'm going to set up the camera and we're going to see all of this become like a manageable lawn again you excited to be on the lawnmower go ahead By the time that we had gotten to this point, we had been working out in the yard for about 11 hours and still had one hour ahead of us, but we were just so excited to finally see just grass and Derek was ridiculously excited to use the lawnmower. This is his baby. He loves it so much. We got it a few years ago and he like treats it like some people treat their trucks like he washes it after every single use he looks forward to using it takes care of it charges the battery all winter long like he just he takes care of this lawnmower better than any other material item in his entire life it's just so cute but he was really excited to be able to use it in this space cut down all of this grass and just see this part of our yard open again and I did want to take a second to say because I know I'm going to get comments of people being like why didn't you just remove the trees why didn't you just suck it up and pay for it first of all because of how many trees there were and the size of them it was thousands of dollars to remove them we did get an estimate for it also because there was more than one neighbor involved our back neighbor mainly having property damage they really wanted homeowners insurance to be involved to try to have that like fixed for them or compensated for them so we didn't want to meddle in the middle of that and then also our yard is pretty big so even though this was like through our kids play area that we had set up it was really only the back half of our yard they still had plenty of yard that they could play in and we did other things for them to compensate for the fact that they could not use these particular items so that's why it took so long that's why we didn't have it removed ourselves but either way we're just so thankful to have use of our full yard now and after so long of seeing all of that nastiness and debris and the trees back here it really was such a satisfying and gratifying feeling to see them removed see this whole space cleared up and remember what our yard was prior to all of this happening it definitely made the 12 hours of work well worth it our kids were so excited and now that we've got this space all set up for them i'll be sharing that video with you next week so make sure that you're subscribed and you have your notification bell turned on so that you don't miss it they're loving this space again and we're really happy with how it turned out this is the first time in over two years that we have seen 
this area of our yard and actually been able to walk through it. I can't believe we got all this cleaned up in one day. It's been like 10 hours straight of work. We have another couple hours that we're probably gonna be working off camera, but oh my gosh, look at this. This is nice, like I'm so excited. Our kids are gonna be so excited to be able to play out here again. This is not bad for one day's work. Here is our wood slash stick pile. I've already burned probably maybe a quarter of it, maybe a third of it. And then some of it did end up in the yard waste bins, but this is hefty. I feel like it's gonna take us all week to burn this in our little fire pit, but man, this is, this is a lot. Anyway, this is not bad for a day's work. I'm pretty proud of us and very satisfied with what we were able to accomplish. I hoped that this was a satisfying and motivating video for you guys. If it was, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you aren't already because we do have a kids patio and backyard makeover coming up next. That'll be the next video you guys see here. So make sure you're subscribed, turn on your notifications so that you don't miss this little setup right here but thanks so much for choosing to spend your time here with me today and we'll see you in the next one.